All right, so today is not about me. It's about Charlotte. I want to talk to y'all about the importance of my wife having her own alone time and why we've implemented it in our schedule. But before all that, we gotta get to breakfast. Wasn't trying to get my numbers up You know I keep it cool I prefer to stay in the cut Don't want no attention I love you I love you, I love you, have a good day Give me a kiss, hey I love you Let's go, go Come on, Kobe Bye Naughty Come on, Kobe Kids all dropped off. Now I'm on my way to my office. That's another thing that you guys don't know is that I actually work in the office now. If you noticed, the house is a mess. And it's because we bought a house. So at the beginning of the year, Charlotte and I went to a hotel and we came up with 2024 goals. And our goal was to build our own house or buy our own house. And honestly, the goal was really to build a house. But when we saw this house, we was like, dog, like, this is everything that we wanted in the house, so we might as well just grab this and make it uh, into what we want it to be. So, yeah, that's why the house is a mess. And if you think the house is a mess, you should see our storage unit because we got so much stuff in our storage unit, it's crazy. But we got to do what we got to do to uh, get moving because we have to close really soon. And then next month, we are going to California to see my family. So it's a lot going on, you know what I mean? But gotta get her done. But now I'm about to head to the office and get some work done before I head home and cook dinner. And uh, Charlotte has her alone time tonight. Oh, and another thing, I actually have somebody who works with me now. Uh, and you guys are gonna meet him right now once we go to the office. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so I'm in my office now. Well, it's not really like my office. I don't own this place. You guys remember four years ago, I used to work in an office with my brother-in-law. He owned a Instagram called Dogs of Instagram. He sold that, and now he has a dog apparel company called Lucy & Co. And now he's in a new office, and now he lets me and my partner Alex work in here. There's a conference room where we like meet and go over like brand deals and content strategy. There's a ping pong table that we go over there and, and we work each other all the time. Alex is kind of better than me right now, I'm not gonna lie. So it is what it is. What's the record? Three and seven after Three and seven. as of yesterday? <laughs> That's Alex right there. Alex reached out to me on an email like five, six years ago. We started a podcast and now he quit his job last year and now he works with me full time and now he does brand deals, editing, strategy, brainstorming. I told you guys in the last video I'm speaking now. So like we reach out to find people in places I can speak. We're making merchandise, me and him do that together. It's just us. Right. And we're out here thugging it and it's great. Alrighty, this is Alex. <laughs> How's it been like working together? Good. I think it's different. I don't I don't think I ever anticipated it would like come into the way it has in terms of like we both do everything. Yeah. That's so. facts. Now I'm gonna get to work and he's gonna get to work and then after that I'm gonna let y'all see an intense uh ping pong match because we play every day and it gets it gets crazy. So but we gotta get to work first. All right, Joss, about that time, we always have a ping pong break. And we're both like kind of toxically competitive. Me and Alex are a lot alike. We're the same sign, basically the same age. I'm just black. <laughs> We're basically like the same people. We're about to get this uh, ping pong match in real quick and we'll see who comes out on top. Warm up. Yeah, feel like John Moran. Yeah. Need a 
triple double. Ay. Told him check the stats. Yeah, I got a couple. Yeah. I don't yeah. draw the ball. Uh. Now I never fumble. I'm the MVP. Uh. Now I feel like Russell. Yeah. Feel like John. Five and one. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't draw the ball. Yeah. Now I never fumble. I'm the MVP. Yeah. Now I feel like Russell. All right, I lost the first game. We played the best out of three, and I lost. No need to talk about it. Let's just play again. Okay. Another day, <laughs> same old result. It's uh, <laughs> it's three eight. It's not three eight. Was it three eight? It was three seven. It was three. It was three seven. It's three eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah three right. eight. Don't try to don't. You won, bro. But don't freaking try to add an extra oh, damn win on. Oh, All right, y'all, me and Alex just finished up with our final meeting of the day. I'm still kind of salty about ping pong, but it is what it is. But we bring lunch sometimes, and we didn't have lunch today, and I'm starving. And I'm about to go home and cook dinner before the girls get home, because Charlotte picks up the girls. They have chess club and after school activity, so that gives me time to finish cooking before they get home. Well, maybe you guys can uh, see Charlotte before she takes off, so I'm about to head over there. How are you doing? Right. <laughs> see you tomorrow. See ya. Peace. Charlotte, are you in the bathroom? Are you eating um, dinner here or are you going to wait to eat out when you go wherever you're going? I'll eat there, but if you make the salad, I'll eat that tomorrow and Thursday for one. I mean, you'll have some nice dinners leftovers for the next couple of days. The dinner you make, yeah. Are you thinking about not making it or something? No, I'm going to make it. Oh. I just don't know if you're eating. And the girls don't like the chicken salad, so I'll probably just make them a pizza. Can you just make them some chicken on the side, maybe without like the seasoning, just like some basic chicken, they can have pizza and chicken, so we get some protein. All right, so what's on tonight's menu is a chicken salad, a basic chicken salad. Charlotte used to make this Herbe de France uh, salad when we lived in uh, Florida when I played for the Dolphins, and we have it from time to time. The only thing is, girls don't like chicken salad, so I'm gonna make them a pizza and then make them some basic chicken on the side, and then go from there, and then we will start our a uh, nightly routine with Charlotte not being here. But you guys will see the girls here soon uh, when they get home. But let me shepherd this meal real quick. And also we make these really nice shallot potatoes uh, with mustard seeds and uh, brown sugar. On a scale of one through 10, how much you love me? 100 million, Cedric. That's not one out of 10. 10 out of 10. I just remembered I wasn't supposed to season one of the chickens. So now I'm just washing it off of water. It is what it is. Ain't nobody gonna be able to tell anyway. Pat it down with a paper towel. Good as new.
What's nice about this meal is that it's quick. And a lot of the times when I cook it, I have a little bit of time to myself before the girls get here. We align the night that I cook to be in, in alignment with the night that Charlotte goes out um, and has her alone time. I recognize that Charlotte had a really, and still does have a really hard time taking time to herself without feeling guilty about it. And I think as we kept having more kids, that feeling just got more intense. And I just wanted to take a step back and find a way that I can help her take time to herself without feeling guilty. And I don't know if I can truly take that away fully. I think that's something that mothers just deal with. But what I try to do is like, okay, I want you to go out. I don't want you to worry about anything. I'll cook, I'll clean, I'm gonna give the girls baths. Um, and you go out and just don't have to worry about that things aren't being taken care of. Cause I think that's part of the guilt probably too. It's like, yo, I'm leaving my kids and all these things need to be done and they're not getting done. So they're probably guilty. So at least I can help with that part. When it comes to the other things that I don't quite understand that mothers just deal with, I don't think I can really help with that at all. But what I can do as her husband is to do the things that I can control, um, that I can tangibly put my hands on to make going out feel less guilty, if that makes sense. So that's how we kind of came to the conclusion. And, um, you know, it, it it's not something that was really difficult for me to do, but it was difficult for me to understand because, I mean, if I'm being honest with you, I don't feel guilty when I'm away from my kids. I feel a little bit, you know, sad sometimes, depending on the circumstance to why I'm away from them. But if I'm away from them, it's because one, it's by choice because I want to do something or another reason is out of obligation. And either way, those things probably need to be done. So why would I feel guilty? Um, but that's just from a man's perspective. You know, I don't know if my wife feels the same way, but on her nights out, she sometimes she stays home. Sometimes she's going out. I believe she's going out tonight with a friend and you know what she's doing out there is great. You know what I mean? That's, that's her business with her friend and I want her to enjoy her friend and that's it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how we came up to that uh, conclusion. And uh, now the girls will be here any minute and I'm pretty sure they're gonna wanna take a bath. Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna want to probably do nails or something. So we probably have a little daddy daughter night date if you want to call it i guess i don't know what you'll call it but yeah they should be here soon all right the girls are here but i gotta go out there and get them because charlotte wants me to grab them out of the car so she can just go what it's so clear in the hallway all right <laughs> sorry go i thought you uh were gonna leave right away i'm just gonna feed her quick where are you going to it's for taco tuesday Oh yeah, it's Tuesday. We're going to go into a taco place. Hopefully it won't be too busy. Are you excited about going? So excited. Oh, you sound so sarcastic. <laughs> Do you actually mean that? Oh, I'm excited. We put all the other stuff. We packed it up, baby girl. Are you excited to have the kids by yourself? Uh, yeah. Quincy. What are you doing? Emma. You want more? Want more? Mama, where's my iPad? It's in here. I want to do a homework. You gotta ask daddy if he's available. How was school today, honey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does that mean? Mm -hmm. How is it? Meow, 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 meow. What does that mean? Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. All right, bro. How was your day at school today? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. What happened today? I had chess, Spanish, and for lunch today we had hot dogs. Nice. Apples, nice. baked beans, nice. and cauliflower. How did you feel about the cauliflower? Good. It looks like broccoli a little bit, except it's not green. Sometimes it's purple, mm -hmm. sometimes it's blue, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's white. Nice. What's for dinner? Chicken salad. Blah! <laughs> hey, you want chicken salad? I want the salad with the pizza. And the croutons. Well, mommy had me make you chicken too. So you got you gotta have a little bit of chicken too. Different kind of chicken that you yeah, like. Yeah, it's not the herb chicken. It's the regular chicken. What's chicken. the herb chicken? It's the one that we eat with the salad. Say goodbye to mom. Bye bye. Hey mom, I got you something. What'd you get me? I got you a present and I ate it. You made me a present. Bye bye, Quincy. Can I get it? Dad, this is for you. Thank 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 you. Thank
for Chess today. Mama. Sorry. <laughs> Close your eyes. Let me see. Can I open? No, not yet. Nice. I made it. Open? Ready? Open. I love this. Is this me? Yeah. Did you draw this? Yes. Maddie, I love this. Can, Can I, I put it in a picture frame? Mm -hmm. Can I see? This is so cool. Can I see? Is this me? Oh, me mm -hmm. Maddie, this yeah, is I wanna super see. cool. I wanna Would you life. ever want to paint it with watercolors? Uh, so yes. This is for like something in a picture frame. You want to have pizza for dinner? So pizza, 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 yeah, go to daddy, he will help you. So, you want some pizza? You want to eat some chicken? Yeah, yeah, should we go make it? Okay, let's go. Let's go, come on. You're going to grab the pizza and daddy put it in the oven, okay? So, What are you doing? Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Can you say pizza? Pizza. Pizza. Uh, oh, this is ice. Hot. Ice. Hot. No, not the, not the big one. Here. There you go. Careful, it's a little hot. <laughs> uh, sure. You want a trick in his head? It's regular chicken, bro. What's my salad? Huh? What's my salad? Jeez Louise, girl. With, with the, uh, the gluten. Is this enough salad? Um, yeah. You want dressing? Which dressing? The white stuff. No. Can I have a fork? <laughs> <laughs> there you Thank go, buddy. You. You're welcome. Now do sucks. Bro, oh my <laughs> god. Here. Take, it. Take your sister one, too. Don't ask me for nothing else, dog. Pick it up. Yeah, all right. Go. Then what should we do now? You guys want to take a bath or not? Uh, go. Yeah. Are you going to use a bath pump? Yeah. Want to get in the bath? Time for bed. That will be quick water. It is finally time for your boy to go to bed. Charlotte got back. She's in there. Uh, laying and probably sleeping with Quincy. Uh, got the kitchen clean and all that. And now, gotta uh, get up tomorrow and have another day. Um, one thing that I wanted to say before going to sleep, if you're trying to figure out how to have a long time and you get it, you should not feel guilty for having a long time. It should be something that you work out with your partner and you guys come to an agreement and you stick to it and you just learn how to exercise that new muscle and be okay with taking care of yourself. Because like I say, the best way that you can take care of others is by taking care of yourself. So I hope you guys have a good day. 
I will see you guys on the next one. Much love. And uh, till next time. <laughs>